Hello everyone, welcome to the DF Robot Science Lab. Today, we're going to talk about the absorption and reflection of light by different colors. Imagine it's a hot summer day, the sun is shining, and there's no breeze. You wonder which of your many short sleeve t-shirts you should wear today, as you'll be playing outside all day. Will you choose your favorite navy blue t-shirt, your multicolored striped one, white colored one with pale pink polka dots, or a bright yellow one? Too many decisions. So today, we're going to discuss the issue of dressing. We will develop an explanation as to why certain color clothing can increase or decrease our perceived degree of warmth or coolness when playing outside. In this activity, we will use a variety of colored pieces of paper and measure the amount of light absorbed with the boson temperature sensor. Let's work together to graph the data from your experiment and develop a set of guidelines which will explain how clothing color can help to keep you cool or warm when you're outside. Before the experiment, let's see the material we're going to use. A battery holder, three AAA batteries, a main board, a temperature sensor, a display module, several cables, and other additional materials like glue, scissors, knife, color pens, and color papers as we mentioned before. And we need to make the following preparations. Using the rectangular box net template on the screen, Cut out one net for each colored sheet of construction paper. Assemble a rectangular box for each colored sheet of construction paper, leaving one of the ends open. Set the rectangular box aside. Attach the boson battery holder to the boson mainboard. and make sure the boson mainboard is turned off. Use one small boson cable and connect the boson mainboard to the boson display module. Use one long boson cable and connect the boson mainboard to the boson temperature sensor. So now, let the experiment begin. Move your rectangular boxes into the sunlight. Place the boson temperature sensor inside the first box and get the lid shut. Turn on the boson mainboard and adjust the display module to display temperature in Fahrenheit. Start the timer and record the temperature at the end of the first minute, second minute, and third minute. Turn off the boson mainboard and move to the shade for a minute. Repeat steps two through six for each additional rectangular box. Disconnect all boson equipment and remember to record the data in the data table. After recording the data, we can create a multicolored line graph. The manipulated variable is the time and the responding variable is the temperature. The manipulated variable is graphed along the X axis and the responding variable is graphed along the Y axis. Use the variables to give your graph a title. Include a legend for your graph. Use graph paper and plot your results for each color. Use a different color that matches the color of the construction paper for each line. We can examine the multicolored line graph to find which color recorded the highest or the lowest temperature reading in three minutes which two lines appear to be the farthest apart or the closest together. By analyzing the data, we can find out which color t-shirt can make us feel cool in a hot summer day. But now we have a new question. Why was the temperature increase not the same for the different colors? The answer is 
When light strikes an object, it can do one of three things. It can be transmitted through the object, it can be reflected by the object, or it can be absorbed by the object. In this experiment, we looked at how much heat was absorbed by the rectangular box. Every object absorbs some light. The rest of the light is reflected back off the object, and we see the object as a certain color. An object that appears blue to us is an object that absorbs all visible light except blue light, which is reflected off the object. An object that appears red to us is an object that absorbs all visible light wavelengths except the red light wavelengths, which are reflected off the object. Light energy that is absorbed by an object is changed to heat energy. The more light energy that is absorbed, the more heat energy is produced. So what color t-shirt should you wear on a hot, sunny summer day? Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned on edu.dfrobot.com for more educational resources. See you next time.